Today we'll be photographing all the rare endemic life and get our second achievement, the Silver Ecologist Award. So in order to get this achievement, we will have to find some very specific monsters that you can't fight. But what you can do is take a picture of them. And in order for them to spawn, we need some very specific requirements. If you don't know how to take a picture, all you have to do is go to the action bar and look up the camera function. If you activate it, you'll get to this screen. Now, if you think the monster is in the shot, make sure that the name of the monster is in the top right of the big square. That way you will be 100% that you have the monster in sight. All right, now I'll tell you the exact location for every single endemic life and also the requirements in order for them to spawn. And we'll start with the monk snail. For the monk snail, you want to go on an expedition to the frost islands and you want to make sure it's nighttime. Now, once you're in the frost islands, you're going to look for a very specific thing, which is a very loud roar that you can hear across the whole map. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. Once you're in Frost Islands, fly to Subcamp 2. Now, if you don't have all the subcamps unlocked yet, make sure to check out the other video about how to unlock all the subcamps. Now that we're at Subcamp 2, we want to go behind the tent and we want to fly up here and go towards the other side, towards the abandoned ship. So like I said before, once you're here, uh, you're looking for a very loud roar. Alright, did you guys catch that? It's a very loud roar and now we just need to wait for him to pop out. Alright, here you can see the very tip of his back behind the mountain. As a side note, you can use the wave gesture to make him react and pose for you like this. And now you can make an even better picture. Next up is the snow-faced fox in the shrine ruins. Now the first thing you want to make sure of is that it's nighttime again because if it's not nighttime, it will not spawn. Now we want to get to the top of the mountain at area 5 and the fastest way to get there is from main camp, take the palamute and run towards the two big wire bugs that are on top of this mountain here. This is the first one and you want to spam F because in the air there is a second wire bug right there and you will end up on this building. Now you want to go to the other side and climb the vines. Once you're on this plateau over here, you see this big gate. Now on this gate will be the next endemic life. You want to keep your dog here because I've noticed that the dog will grief you because it will get in the way of this beautiful creature here, which is the snow-faced fox. Take out your camera and there it is, a beautiful shot of the snow-faced fox. Our next endemic life will be the Regitrice or the Regitrice. I don't know exactly how you pronounce it, but one out of two uh, in the sandy plains. Once you're in the sandy plains, you want to jump into this hole from camp two and locate this bone pile. Once you located this bone pile, jump towards the other side until you see the cats. Go past the cats and you want to keep hugging the right side wall until you see the entrance towards a little cave right here once you see the cave you'll see a bug over here a god bug and take a left and there at the end of this cave you'll see a regitrice next up is the quetzal cobra in the flooded forest first thing you want to make sure of is that it's daytime then you want to head to the pyramid and we're gonna go up the pyramid a little bit, not all the way to the top. Take the wire bug over here so we get a little higher. And we want 
to jump to the left side and keep running towards the east side of the pyramid. On this side, you will see a cave down there, and that's exactly the cave where we want to be. So slide down. Make sure your palamute is in place before you make the picture. And there it is, a Quetzal Cobra. Sometimes you have to wait for a little bit, um, and sometimes he spawns instantly, but here you have it. Last but not least, we have the Hellbill, which is my favorite rare endemic life. And it's a beautiful, beautiful firebird or phoenix or whatever you want to call it. You want to go to lava caverns during nighttime and jump into this hole that we just jumped through and run north. Until you see the mining node on the left, walk past it towards the small little lava waterfall over here because there is a entrance that you can crawl through after that look towards the right and there will be an another entrance over here which leads us to this big magma lava area now over there we see a platform on top and that is where our bird is going to spawn or it is going towards there so you can take a picture of it and all you have to do is just wait here for a few minutes and it will spawn. So let's wait and see. And there you have it. Finally, after a few minutes of waiting, the beautiful bird Hellbill is finally on the cliff. So what you want to do is you want to run up and take a look at this beautiful bird. What I have noticed, by the way, is once he flies in, he will screech quite loudly. If you want to do something else on another screen and you have your sound turned on, you can still hear it screech and fly in. There you have it, guys. Silver Ecologist Award completed. Congrats on your second achievement. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment and I will answer to all of them. And of course, shout out to my sponsor, No One. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It really helps out and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.